Welcome back to another episode of Let's Go DC tutorial. This time we will be looking at how to create post requests in Retrofit 2. So to start off, let's create an interface which will actually have all the methods uh, or the endpoints which are required uh, to be included uh, from the web service layer. So I call it uh, log easy api because i'm creating an app called log easy so the interfacing interface uh, the interfacing web service is actually coming from a log easy api so i have a post method there which is to access the uh, secret tokens so I have actually implemented an OAuth2 authentication mechanism there. So to access each and every aspects or the parameters uh, coming as part of the authentication, I need to call a method or the, end, the endpoint is called the OAuth access token. So the uh, I have run a query here and the response comes back like this with the access token and the refresh token etc so to receive it uh, in the java android application i need to create it as a java object so i use a tool uh, which is more in c sharp but it's very user intuitive so i use it to actually translate the response type to java objects so I create a model layer for that. So I include the models and add a class or a model object uh, which will receive my token response. So I just call it token response. Convert this into a Java class. As you must be knowing from the previous tutorial that uh, uh, Retrofit uses different uh, kinds of uh, translators or adapters uh, to receive data in in different ways uh, in JSON format but uh, uh, in this case I am using JSON as the receiver uh, converter object so for that uh, I need to pass the same attribute name which is coming back as part of the response so the annotation is called serialized name and I uh, I expose the data through these two annotations. So this is part of the JSON converter which you are using. So each and every getter and setter needs to have uh, these two annotations included for it to be deserialized. So at this point, I'm more interested in receiving all the parameters. So I am keeping a getter for each, each of the properties which are defined there. So now I have an option to access those parameters. So continuing with the creation of the interface layer, So I am receiving it as token response. That so the retrofit call method uh, uh, or the call param parameter which we need to use there. So you can call it either synchronously or asynchronously. I'll, I'll be using asynchronous calls here. So I create a method uh, declaration called uh, get token access, and I define the body element which is what we will send to the server. So body has all these op all these parameters which needs to be passed like username, password, grant type, client ID, client secret. So 
So that is part of the OAuth 2 authentication mechanism, which I have created as a separate uh, API layer. So I'm creating a token re request uh, class to send the request format. So all the required uh, elements for sending a request is ready now. So I'm just creating the get run setter for that we need a setter here because we need to set the values and send to the server so that's all set So let's go back and uh, continue with creation of the method. So we have the method ready now. So to access it, um, we already have created the retrofit uh, format in which the data needs to be, uh, or the format in which we need to initiate or initialize retrofit. You need a, you have a builder and you set the base URL add the converter type which in our case is a json converter and then using that retrofit uh, instance created call the uh, method using create by creating an instance of that uh, interface object we created so that's my uh, base url which I'll replace uh, in my code with the base URL. Just moving it to the resources file or the string resources. And uh, add a permission internet permission so that uh, request can be sent to the server so we will use this service to authenticate a user by passing all the parameters to the auth authentication service so for that I just need to call the method we which which we defined get access token and create a token request object So we set the email, pass 
password the grant type is password so there are different kinds of grant types available as part of auth authentication one type is password so there we are just passing that client id is uh, predefined so if this client id is not uh, received in the server end then the validation will fail and even the client secret So once that is done, we create a request and the response will be received uh, within as a token response object. So to have a asynchronous call, you just need to call the NQ method, which will have a callback. So the callback will have a um, success response and a failure response. So let's receive the status code which is being sent by the server. It will come under the response.code. and the body will be received. As token response under response.body. So I'm just showing a progress bar when on beginning and end show and hide the progress bar and uh, create a logger to see what uh, kind of response we are receiving from the server so let's print the status code there and on failure case let's log the failure message as well let's run and see what happens app is running now just that the view where I'm entering the username and password is not shown here So that is received now but then the token response has not come back so there is some issue with uh, what we have uh, sent to the server so if you want to see that go to the raw response and it shows 500 that means there is something wrong with the request that we have sent let's check what has gone wrong go to the token request and see that uh, 
I had to send a username. So let's make that change. Where it is uh, username now. Modify it to username. And let's again execute and see. So the app is running now and uh, I am entering the username and password in the app. So if things are fine, it will come to the on response section. And the call has happened. Let's execute and see and it's still in the response and you can see a 200 is responded now so and it and you can receive and you have received the access token and all the parameters which are required hope you like this tutorial thank you for watching keep subscribed like comment leave your feedback on any part of this tutorial or any other tutorial It'll really help us in improving the channel and its content.